Hey guys and welcome to my last video of the year. It's the festive season and I decided I'm going to do something based on it. So these are the do's and don'ts of the festive season. I want to start this off with a civil address. Guys do not drink and drive. If you feel that you are too drunk to drive, sleep in your car, it's yours. No one's going to chase you the fuck away. Get in there, lock the doors, and sleep until the alcohol wears off. Do not take that shit to the road. There's enough drama on the road without your drunk ass on it. So guys, please, please, do not drink and drive. There is no excuse to drink and drive, okay? Number two. If you were in a relationship, do not, I repeat, do not use the holidays as your first chance to meet the family. Especially if your significant other has some messed up family. Families have different dynamics. And now you show up and you do not know the dynamic. Some families kiss on the fucking lips for hello. And because they don't know if you're okay with that shit, they can't do it with you. So suddenly, that motherfucker will refuse to kiss grandma. Number three. Do not feel or do not chase people for your happiness. Especially in the festive season, you're going to want to be around motherfuckers who want to be around you. If you have to look for people, those guys don't want to hang with you. If you have to follow them to wherever they have to be, those guys don't want to hang with you. People who want to be around you will look for you and will actually make time for your ass. Okay? We have learned to base a lot of our happiness on other people or on other people's opinion. And that shit's just messed up. That is... A very significant factor of low self-esteem so make your own happiness be your own party be your own person be your own self understand what you want and go get it number four kind of correlates into number three just because your niggas are doing stuff doesn't mean you got to especially if you're not on the same financial caliber you know there are people who can ball no harm, no foul, ball, Monday to Monday, and they're good. But you got so much going on that you can only ball. You get what I'm saying? So don't try and pull off what other niggas are pulling off just because you feel you want to fit in. I think I'm done with the don'ts. Let's go to the do's. One, be generous. It's the festive season. Make merry, and the best thing we always make merry in numbers. So, ladies, give. You know what I'm saying. Give. And, fellas, give. You know what I'm saying. Give. Because giving out this will get you this. It's that simple. Give out this, you get this. Do. Do take this. Do number two. Take this time to reflect on who you are. Take this time to. Understand where you've come from and where you want to be a lot of motherfuckers go out and make new resolutions that Are not necessarily achievable My new resolution is very simple. I'm gonna shave in 2015 achievable Easy simple adequate. Yes, you must have goals But you must have smart goals. You must have achievable goals and finally do take this time to appreciate those that matter take this time to say what you feel and express what you feel to those that matter. Life is so freaking short and uh, you will wake up one day and not have the opportunity to. So if you can from today just say it. Um, call your family, call your mom, call your dad, your uncles, your cousins. Just tell them you miss them, tell them you love them. It's, it's not going to take anything away from you. In fact, it's going to give you way much more. I'm going to end this on this because I've realized I'm starting to get a bit too mushy at the end. So, guys, do have a Merry Christmas and a prosperous New Year and Happy Holidays. I'm out, bitches. Oh, oh, one, one, one more thing. My Christmas present. Remember, I asked you for a Christmas present. I want you and a friend to subscribe to the channel. That's all I want for Christmas. Just you and a friend to subscribe to the channel. Get me that for Christmas and I'll be the happiest motherfucker ever. 
So again, I'm out, bitches.